Hey everyone welcome, I hope you're all doing well and enjoying the new year. I want to show you the rave today, randomized noise shuffling for video editing. It's a super cool way to edit videos with just text, but achieves better temporal consistency than existing methods like re-render a video, token flow. Like in this example, Rave edited the background with stars, changed into purple and blue hues, and looks mysterious. So, how does it do that? Well, it uses some clever tricks to create correlations and improve coherence. One of them is grid tricks, which I have used before, or you might also to generate different perspectives of the same figure in a grid layout. This way, the frames are more consistent than generated individually. Another trick is noise shuffling, which adds correlation and improve consistency among the grid frames during the generation process. Rave can use as many grids as you want, actually the more the better, but the only limitation is the GPU memory so far. Okay, let me walk you through a simple example of how to use it to create a stunning work. Let's go. First install the Comfy UI Rave and Comfy UI Noise nodes in the manager. I know some of you wanted to see how I made workflow from scratch every time, so I added it at the end to show you my workflow step by step. Don't miss it if you're curious about how I did it. Okay, this workflow is based on Rave custom node example, it's relatively simple. We can check the major nodes. One control net connects to the unsampler to provide noise inversion, and this new K sampler from Rave provides extra grid option we mentioned. I added another K sampler just for a comparison. Depth control net is used here, but you can also try line art and soft edges. It's also good. Now let's use an example I created in previous videos. It's 512 by 768. Not officially tested 512 by 512, but it should also work. Then change the prompt accordingly, a yellow one-piece dress here. By the way, I added image crop here. If you need preprocess the size of input video, I bypass this time. Okay, run it. Wow! I am so glad to see how it improves the temporal consistency over the original results. Another big step for the controllable video generation. The effort is minimized to create various styles and even to replace objects, considering it's zero shot, no training model needed. Impressive work! Just have a try and let me know if you have interesting findings. Okay, next I will show how to create this workflow. So load checkpoint first, and prepare the reroute of model and VAE. Then the clip text encoder for positive and negative prompts. These are for the control net. We will have another set for unsampler later. Let's use advanced control net here, and add the control net model loader. Select depth model here. Connect positive and negative to the control net. It's okay here. Let's prepare another one for the unsampler. Same clip text encoder, and press Alt key and drag the control net to duplicate. Then connect both positive and negative conditionings, and use same model loader. Still missing image input, so use VHS video loader. Each time for videos, you might want to preprocess the size, so add an image crop node here. Control plus B to bypass it for now. It's helpful to show the total number of video frames. Add one here. It's basically an image to image process. So connect to the VAE in code and drag the VAE here. Let's reconnect to the image crop even though bypassed here. Then add a reroute. We are using depth model, so add a ZO depth preprocessor. Connect input here and transfer to both control net nodes. Adjust the control net strength in general 0.6 to 0.9 is a good starting point. This part is done, then add reroute for the latent output. 
Then the unsampler for noise inversion, just connect all the inputs one by one. Next is the K sampler. We add advanced K sampler here just for comparison purpose. You can mute it later. It's suggested to use similar step settings, so let's change it. CFG is recommended to use one for both, but let's try higher in K sampler. Then add K sampler of Rave and adjust to similar settings. OK, next to VAE decode, add for both K samplers. Let's prepare the video output. We need three in total, the default one, the RVA results, and one more with frame interpolation, just for smoother FPS. Next step is to connect the outputs. I like to use reroute to help clean the lines. Add VFI node. You can pick one from the list. Change the multiplier to 3 because we want to interpolate 8 FPS to 24. Connect it. Congratulations, all done. Just simply click the queue to check any errors, seems we are fine. Okay that's all for today, hope you enjoy it, thanks for watching, and have fun.